What kind of mental problems do you have in your sad, pathetic life? In your miserable little life? When you want to shove a garden hose up your rear end because Trump told you and pump it full of Lysol! This is the problem with America today. The Russians hacked the DNC. Trump worked with the Russians. He's Putin's buddy. He's a racist, a monster, an ogre, everything you want to say about him. You don't want to know what the difference between Mussolini and Trump is? There is no difference! Cheeto Mussolini is the end of our democracy. Now look, if you watch this channel normally with my loser cousin, H.A. Goodman, yelling at the top of his lungs, your IQ is probably that, just a tiny bit more than an amoeba. Because you're a MAGA child in Trumpkin. You worship the orange menace. With his big fat orange rear end. And his fake hair. If you want to change. Kind of like conversion therapy. For the uh, mentally impaired who vote for Trump. Go to Bizarro World Goodman. It's below in the pinned comment. Find a map below in the pinned comment in the description. Now look, you're not invited to Thanksgiving. You're not invited to New Year's. You're not invited to the kids' bar mitzvahs. You're not coming to anything that has to do with me. I've known you for 30 years. I don't care. You vote for Trump. You're an immoral if you vote for Trump. You're making even my, my facial hair explode in anger. Don't take a can of Lysol and stick it in your mouth like it's a Pez dispenser. You have major problems in your life if you vote for that immoral, disgusting, rude, slimy, fat Trump. He's a racist. He speaks subliminally to the racists. He practically lit the tiki torches. He did. He said that they were fine people. He said they were good people. What kind of sick would say that? Now look. My mentally impaired, sad, pathetic cousin is coming very soon to take over his uh, channel. You can go ahead and subscribe to Bizarro World Goodman. This is a little taste, a little preview, so to speak of normality, insanity. What kind of person accepts help from the Russians? Okay? What kind of person spoons with Putin on the weekends? What kind of person eats cheeseburgers while calling the Kremlin asking for help because he can't beat Clinton on his own? He cheated. He won and he cheated. In November, if you vote for Trump, don't ever... Call me again! We're done! We're done! We're done! We're done! Don't call me! Don't call me for New Year's! Don't call me for Thanksgiving! Don't call me for Christmas! I don't want to talk to you! We're done! Do you understand? I don't care how long I know you! If you're my brother, I don't care! We're done! You no longer exist to me! Do you understand? Now look! Think very closely or very carefully about what you're going to do from now on. The press conference is full of lies, deceit. Even the doctors are like, oh my God, oh my God, oh, just Trump. Oh, yeah. Read the New York Times, read the Washington Post, read BuzzFeed, read the Daily Beast, read all of them. They all hate Trump. Why do you vote for him? And the whole country, the whole world is embarrassed of our dear leader. The giant, sad, pathetic baby Cheeto. Now look. He's a racist, he's a monster, he's authoritarian, he's a despot, he worked with Russia, he withheld military assistance from Ukraine. What more does he have to do? Does he have to take a 45 and shoot you in the head for you to understand? Now look. Uh, again, you're making my facial hair explode with anger. You can watch this dumb thing, you know, if you want to. But now look. Go ahead, go ahead, 
Subscribe to Bizarro World Government. It's a five minute little, uh, five minute little, uh, taste of what you're going to receive all the time from this, from my new channel, H.A. Bizarro World, whatever that, whatever the heck it is. Bizarro World Goodman. Now go ahead, go ahead, subscribe to Bizarro World Goodman. And now I say, I hear my, 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 uh, loser pathetic cousin coming. So don't tell him I was here. Thank you. Bizarro World Goodman, you pathetic fools. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so very much for tuning in. When you type in, I want you to type in Michael Flynn right now. He's going to be exonerated, people. Michael Flynn, Greg Jarrett, new evidence on Michael Flynn. Drop all charges and let him sue his, pre his prosecutors. Now, this is amazing. This is an amazing article by Greg Jarrett. I'm going to read it to you right now. And uh, by the way, subscribe to Bizarro World Goodman. It's a new channel. You're going to love it. Oh, my God. What's going on here? Um, Michael Flynn is the victim of one of the worst miscarriages of justice in modern times, an innocent man who was unfairly targeted by the FBI, wrongfully prosecuted by special counsel Robert Mueller, and coerced into a guilty plea under threat. New court documents finally handed over to Flynn's lawyers contain exculpatory evidence that has been long sought, yet concealed until now. The charge against him should be dismissed. Then he should sue the very people and the government that persecuted him under the pretext of a legitimate prosecution. The unvarnished truth is that the retired Army Lieutenant General and former National Security Advisor never did anything wrong and committed no crimes. By the way, I wrote in The Federalist, and I think perhaps, perhaps, uh, my article helped out. If you go to H.A. Goodman, Federalist, just if you're bored, it actually helps me if you do, but if you type in H.A. Goodman, Federalist, go to the author page. Because, because Mueller found no collusion, Trump should pardon Michael Flynn. That was a very popular article, and um, it got, hopefully, hopefully, it got people thinking in 2019. Of course, it, was a tiny, it played a tiny, 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 tiny role in hopefully helping Lieutenant General Michael Flynn. But that article, because Mueller found no collusion, Trump should pardon Michael Flynn, go ahead. That's below in the pinned comment also. It's also on my author page for, for The Federalist. But um, let's continue reading. The unvarnished truth is that retired Army Lieutenant General and former National Security Advisor never did anything wrong, committed no crimes. He was set up by unscrupulous FBI officials, then relentlessly pursued by Mueller's team of overzealous prosecutors, and were desperate to show that President Trump and his campaign colluded with Russia to win the 2016 presidential election. Of course, no such conspiracy with Moscow ever existed. It was a fantasy built on the sand of Russian disinformation and lies. The FBI knew it, but didn't care. As I wrote in a column as far back as 2018, this is Greg Jarrett speaking, the FBI lied to Flynn to ensnare him in the crime of making a false statement, even though Flynn did not lie at all about his perfectly legal and appropriate conversations with Russian Ambassador Sergei Kislyak. In my 2019 book, this is Greg Jarrett, his article I'm reading, Witch Hunt, the story of the greatest mass delusion in American political history. I laid out the evidence of Flynn's innocence. Specifically, here is the FBI summary report on the interview of Flynn conducted by two bureau agents, including the notorious Peter Strzok. It is dated July 19, 2017. Throughout the interview, Flynn had a very short demeanor and did not give any indication of deception. Strzok and redacted FBI agent both had the impression at the time Flynn was not lying or did not think he was lying. So there you go. So how is it possible to charge somebody with lying to the FBI when the only witnesses, the two agents, determined that the person they interviewed did not lie? The answer is quite simple. You cannot bring such a prosecution, yet Mueller did anyway. The goal was to pressure to put pressure on Flynn to say something incriminating about Trump, even if that meant inventing the story that prosecutors wanted to hear. There is no indication that Flynn did this, but he did guilt. He did plead guilty to making a false statement. Why did Why did he cop a plea? Because Mueller crushed him financially and threatened to take legal action uh, against the retired general's son. This is despicable. Uh, Mueller and his team were the were not only insidious, nor not only despicable. It was the most un-American thing that could ever have taken place. It was a classic intimidation. It was classic intimidation by a ruthless by ruthless prosecutors. It is now beyond dispute that Lieutenant General Michael Flynn committed no crimes. But it appears that top FBI officials and prosecutors may have. Before, uh, be, uh, before being sentenced, Flynn changed course and hired new defense attorneys, including the former prosecutor, Sidney Powell. 
Armed with better counsel, Flynn has been trying to convince a federal judge to allow him to withdraw his guilty plea, citing bad faith on the part of prosecutors. Powell has waged an intense and skilled legal campaign to get the government to turn over the exculpatory evidence that has long been hidden and is required under law, Brady v. Maryland, to be produced. Prosecutors in the FBI stonewalled, at one point claiming the original witness report of uh, Flynn's interview was missing, known as the 302, right? Fortunately, Attorney General William Barr ordered a review of the Flynn's ca of Flynn case, and guess what? Exculpatory documents have suddenly and magically been found. They were never missing, just buried by the FBI in a black hole of, uh, of calumny, uh, calumny and cover-up. The material is still under protective seal so that the public cannot yet read its contents. However, Powell has accessed has access and offered this insight in a court filing. This afternoon, the government produced to Mr. Flynn stunning Brady evidence that proves Mr. Flynn's allegations having, of having been deliberately set up and framed by corrupt agents at the top of the FBI. The government deliberately suppressed this evidence from the inception of this prosecution, knowing there was no crime by Mr. Flynn. The case against Flynn was originally conceived by FBI Director James Comey and Assistant Director Andrew McCabe under the phony pretense of a Logan Act violation, which had no relevance or application. Once appointed, a special counsel, Mueller accepted the baton and pursued the, ca the case against Flynn with a vengeance. It is now beyond dispute that Lieutenant General Michael Flynn committed no crimes, but it appears that the top FBI uh, officials and prosecutors may have. Evidence was concealed and justice obstructed. This is uncontrollable. This is unconscionable behavior. The charge against Flynn should be dismissed, allowing him to seek redress in civil court. Moreover, U.S. Attorney John Durham should, should consider filing charges if the evidence shows the government officials breached their duty to uphold the law and abuse their power to prosecute an innocent man. Ladies and gentlemen, Greg Jarrett is amazing. They set up and framed Michael Flynn. I said that from day one. I wrote about that in my article in The Federalist. God bless General Michael Flynn. He's an honorable man. He will be vindicated. Trump doesn't play. Trump don't play. If you go after Trump, he's going to fight. If you go after Bernie, he'll say, Thank you, may I have another? 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 And some people you don't mess with. You don't mess with people who um, retaliate <laughs> uh, in, in, a, in a civil legal sense. Trump retaliates legally. Michael Flynn is going to be exonerated. He should sue. He will be pardoned. He'll either be pardoned, completely exonerated by the judge uh, presiding over the case, exonerated by the DOJ. Something's going to happen this week where you're going to have President, President uh, Trump you're going to have President Trump either pardon Michael Flynn. So, you're going to have President Trump either pardon Michael Flynn or he's going to be exonerated by, by the court uh, that, that, that is presiding over the case because exculpatory information exculpatory information was withheld. He was set up. The 302s were showed that he did not lie. He never lied because there was nothing to lie about. They set him up and framed him. And, and, and President Trump, and I stated this in, 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 right when it happened in 2017, you can go and check, the, this, if you can find the segment in 2000, I said, that the worst thing that could ever happen in the Trump administration is that he fire Michael Flynn. He should never, because once he did that, he gave them the opportunity to continue. Once he showed, once President Trump showed, and he didn't know, so I can't, but he shouldn't have, he didn't know how corrupt that the system he was entering was. But once he showed them that he would kowtow just a little bit, they took everything they could. They got a special counsel, the Comey, you know, it's his right to fire Comey. It is not the right of Andrew McCabe to set up and frame Trump. It is not the right of the FBI to set up and frame Trump. Or it is not the right of the FBI to set up and frame Michael Flynn. Flynn will, Flynn will be exonerated, hopefully this week, almost certainly this week, according to Maria Bartiromo and President Trump. I am going to be very happy for Lieutenant General Michael Flynn, very happy for the country. The guy who was set up and framed, what can you say? 
Give me your thoughts below if you want to support my voice long term. My Patreon is below. Ladies and gentlemen, you got a little taste of Bizarro World Goodman. <laughs> that, that'll be pretty much that and a lot more. I'll have a background. Um, I'll have different, you know, different personas. Well, I mean, the same persona, but different. Uh, I might have, you know, different facial hair and wig, hat, and all that stuff. You're going to love it. It's going to be even more unhinged than what you just saw. So, Bizarro World Goodman, it's below in the in the pinned comment and description. Tell everyone you know. I'm, I'm getting in all the supplies. Let's get it to 4,000 subs. When we get to 4,000 subs, it will start. We're, all, we're, we're approaching there, so it'll be hopefully up and running soon. Give me your thoughts below. Share that link everywhere to Bizarro World Goodman, the pinned comment and the description. Thank you so very, very much.